Few things go hand in hand like a laundromat and a snake. It may sound crazy, but Sioux Falls police were called when a snake showed up at a laundromat last night. It happened on West Madison Street just a few blocks from the T. Denny Sanford Premier Center. Tonight, the snake is back with its owner. On the night beat, Kelloland's Dan Santella introduces you to Runaway and how she was able to make a clean getaway. Sammy, yes, that's her right there. Runaway's her name. But it wasn't her name until this whole ordeal. The ivory ball python is around one year old. Tonight, I met Runaway and her owner as I found out exactly how this all played out. Runaway is doing okay, according to owner Jason Hack. She's a little beat up from her adventure, but she hasn't really lost any weight or anything like that. She looks pretty good. Hack used to have a store that sold pets close to this laundromat in northwest Sioux Falls. Back in May, we had a little incident where uh, uh, during feeding, the weight for her lid didn't get put on exactly correct, and she was able to push out the top and then got randomly loose in the shop. She was gone, but last night, Hack got word from Facebook that Animal Control had found a snake. And I got a hold of Animal Control shortly thereafter um, and told them, hey, know the location, I think you found my snake. I described the snake to them. And they couldn't confirm. They said I would just have to bring up some pictures and talk to them in the morning. So went up there today and uh, showed them the pictures and they're like, yep, we got your girl. And so bailed her out of snake jail. I was just as shocked as Jason was. It was unreal. We were just laying in bed and all of a sudden he's like, you will never believe what we just heard. And he told me the story and I was like, no way. That was, it was incredible. This is Hack's pet, Melvin, who's 16 years old. Hack says that Runaway will grow to be about as big as Melvin. Hack says Runaway doesn't pose a threat to people, and he did not get a fine, just $30 for that bailout. And now, Runaway's name doesn't quite fit. I mean, I was absolutely tickled when we heard that she was at the laundromat last night. Hack says he is still missing two snakes. He concedes that it is against the exotic pet ordinance to have a python. The city's code of ordinances says it is unlawful for any person to keep and maintain an exotic animal, which it defines as an animal that isn't, quote, naturally in the United States. Remember, though, he said he did not get a fine. He described animal control as extremely helpful. All right.